every racing season, hundreds of horses pass through this paddock and head out onto the track to compete for top honors. But how much they'll walk away with and where they place in the card is pretty much determined by just one office here at the track. And today we sat down with the head of that busy department to get a better picture of what goes on behind the scenes. The ringing starts sometime around 7 a.m. and keeps going for hours. It's almost like an equine version of the uh, commodities office because the phone never stops. Almost every morning, Rick Kane and his staff answer the call so that each race night, drivers and horses alike can compete on the 5 8 mile track at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs. Rick came on board as the new director of racing earlier this year, but is no stranger to the sport. You have experience at tracks from 10 different states, from as far north as Maine to down in Florida. What brought you here to Pocono Downs? Well, I'm actually originally from northeast Pennsylvania, and uh, my family got into the business in the early 60s, and uh, we moved to New Hampshire. And um, my first two years uh, out of high school, I worked in a racing office, and I kind of overstayed my visit. Over the years, Rick has worked at over 14 tracks and has experience in everything from film to Phillies. You grew up with racing roots. Um, then you went, actually got in, went to school for broadcasting. Did. How did you get back into the racing industry? Then? Well, my senior year, um, I was a television production major. And my senior year, my brother, who was a very good driver in New England at the time, had a boating accident, he drowned, so I had to uh, help my uh, family with the stable for a while. And um, when my father got going again, he was uh, able to go on with the stable and everything. I kind of didn't really know if I wanted to continue on with uh, college, so I uh, started working racetracks again, and I've been traveling ever since. Obviously, you, you must enjoy it to continue doing it. Oh, yeah. It's been very good to me, and, and I've been to many places and virtually just about every track I've been to, I've really enjoyed everything. And I'm, I'm really glad to be here because I'm getting close to home. I have a brother who still lives in northern Wayne County, so it, it's, it's kind of like coming home. When you were working in industry, was it always in an office similar to what you're doing now, or did you have a bunch of different jobs? It was pretty much uh, this. I, I've done some other things. I've even uh, worked in Greyhound racing for uh, a couple of years at a track that had both harness racing and dog racing. And uh, I even worked here as a, as a young guy back in 1977 uh, as an assistant race secretary. So uh, it, was, it, it was nice to come here. During the week, Rick is responsible for arranging the race card, determining purses, and making sure the races are as competitive as possible. This office is always so busy whenever I come down here. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do here. Well, this is where we take the entries for the races. And primarily, it's usually about three days in advance of the race day to which is the cutoff point, and uh, I write a condition sheet based on uh, ho uh, trainers enter their horses, to which uh, it's based on earnings in the last so many starts, five starts, and uh, we process the entries and make sure the horse is eligible, and we try to make a competitive feel for people to bet on, and um, so it, you, know, you, you have a pretty good close finish for every race. Right, because you, you guys really do make it interesting. You're the ones responsible for putting certain horses in uh, against each other, so there's a lot of responsibility to make sure that it is a competitive race. Absolutely, absolutely, and I, know, and I think we do a pretty good job. Uh, this is a new track for me, uh, and uh, so I'm just getting used to the trainers and the horses and everything. Uh, I came up from Chester, and uh, but uh, we're going to make this a very, very uh, good track. In fact, it has been a good track, and uh, we're just going to build on it. So purses and things like that, how is that all determined in an order of horses and things? We, we, uh, we um, uh, go through with the, uh, the horseman's organization, the PHHA, mm -hmm. and um, they tell us pretty much like uh, what they like to have for like an average uh, amount for uh, the purses per day. And uh, so we determine how many races per week, and we divide it up to according to the classes. And uh, obviously, the five claimers will go for less than a ten claimer. And uh, based on the amount of money for, uh, per day, we divide it up. While most of Rick's work is done before the first horse even enters the paddock, he's usually on hand during races, too, to see his handiwork come to life. So what would you say is your favorite part of the sport? Why do you, what do you enjoy about it so much? Well, just like, uh, um, you know, I went to college for like a, a 
a career where you're going to create things and actually I'm, I'm doing a little bit creating here like trying to put together a good feel of horses trying to match them together and it's kind of like uh, a chess game move here move there and try to group them together and to make a really really good race for people to w watch and wager on a very entertaining night for sure now you it is entertainment yeah, yeah. Definitely is. Now you hit on your past a little bit. We talked about how Rick was in broadcasting, but he also actually had a show like this one called The Handicapper. Now here's your host, Rick Kane. Hello everyone and welcome to The Handicapper for Saturday, July 25th. So I was thinking if Randy's ever out sick or something happens, we can have Rick picks or maybe like the Kane Capper or something like that. What do you think? Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to it. Rick, thank you so much for doing the interview. We appreciate your time. Thank you.